So the purpose of this video is to go through the answers to 10 multiple choice questions to do with basic concepts around organic chemistry. So things like naming organic compounds, key terms, saturated, aliphatic, alkyl group, alicyclic, aromatic, unsaturated, and that sort of thing, and turning a skeletal formula into a molecular formula. So I've pulled together 10 multiple choice questions from past papers, put them all together on a PDF. The link to that PDF is in the description of this video. So if you just want to click on that, have a go at these questions, and then watch the latter part of the video for the answers. Okay, so question one, we were given this structural formula and we had to choose which of these four names was the right name for the molecule. Okay, so something like this, what I would suggest you do is maybe draw the, the skeletal formula for it. So we've got one, two, three, that's a branch off that carbon. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we've got a branch of CH3 off this third, one, two, three, there, okay? And there's an OH group off this, off this second last carbon here, okay? Right, so the longest continuous chain is five, so it's pent. So straight away, we'll rule out those two. And the OH group is on the second carbon, counting this way. So it's a pent and two all. So obviously that's the answer. And obviously that ties in as well. Three methyl, pentan 2 all. Okay, so moving on to question two, which of these four chemicals is unsaturated, aliphatic, and has alkyl chains? So you can see what I've done here. I've just sketched up the skeletal formula for them to try and help sort of explain the answer. So cyclohexane straight away, we're gonna rule that because it doesn't have any alkyl chains. So it's definitely not that one. 2-methylpropene, so it is unsaturated, it's got the double bond. Um, it is aliphatic, it's, in other words, it's not aromatic, there's no benzene rings in this, so it's, it fits that. And it does have an alkyl chain, so it's got that methyl group there, so that actually is the answer. I'll just rule these two out, might as well, while we're on with it. So 2,3-dimethyloctane, well, that's not unsaturated. There's no carbon-carbon multiple bonds. There's no benzene rings in there. So that is actually a saturated molecule, but it does satisfy those two. And 1,3-dimethylbenzene, it, um, it is unsaturated because of the benzene ring. It does have alkyl chains, but it's not aliphatic because of the benzene ring. It's actually aromatic. So that's why that was the answer. Okay, so number three now. So we've got this alcohol and we've got to give it a systematic name. So longest continuous carbon chain, one, two, three, four, five. So it's a pent. So obviously it's definitely not that one. Um, it's got the OH group on the first carbon. The functional group decides which is carbon number one when it's at the end there. So it's a pent and one all. Um, so it's definitely not five all. And so therefore this here is carbon number four. So we've got a methyl on carbon number four of a pentan one all molecule. So it's actually that one there. The problem with this one, it's very close to the right name, 4-methylpentanol, you should have the one in there to, to show exactly where the OH group is. So it's on carbon one, so it needs to be in the name. Okay, so number four, we've got the, the um, structure drawn of um, halogenoalkane. We've got to give the correct name. So the longest continuous chain, so straight down the middle is four. So it's a but, butane. So it's going to be either this one or this one. It can't be those two because they've got propane as their um, longest continuous chain. So we've got chlorine on two and three okay so it's a two three dichloro and which you, obviously you've got both options in there haven't you and it's either a two methyl or a three methyl well obviously it's going to be the two isn't it because that's the lower number so it's this one here two three dichloro two methyl butane so it was that one 
Okay, so for number five, we've got to um, create the uh, molecular formula for this skeletal formula. You'll notice they've all got six carbons, they've all got two oxygens. So basically, we just need to decide how many hydrogens we've got in this molecule, and that'll give us the answer. Okay, so in terms of hydrogen, how many we've got on each carbon? So there's three on that one. There's none on that one because it's made four bonds, one, two, double bonds, so three, four. So none on that one. This carbon, you've got a bond there, a bond there, a bond there. So there's only one sort of bond left it can make, so that'll be to a hydrogen. Um, obviously there is a hydrogen there. This carbon here, one, two, three. So there's one there, and there's going to be three on that one. That'll be a CH3 group, and so is that. So let's add them all together. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it was that one. Okay, so a similar question for six. We've got to establish the molecular formula for this. Notice there we've got um, different numbers for carbon and different numbers for hydrogen. So if we work out the number of carbons first, the sort of common mistake here will be students seeing two hexagons and just going for 12. These are common carbons here, so they're actually shared by both kind of rings. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's either that one or that one. So it's definitely not those. So they haven't got twelve car. This hasn't got twelve carbons. So in terms of hydrogen, remember each carbon can form four bonds. So we'll start here. That one there is made three. So it's got one left, if you like. One there, one there, one there. This carbon, one, two, three, four, it's full. You can't put any hydrogen on there. Likewise for the this one here. So there's none there and there. One, 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 one. Okay, so that's eight, isn't it? So it was the first, it was that one. C10H8. Okay, so question seven now. We've got to decide which one of these is unsaturated, allocyclic, and has an alkyl group. So we'll just go through each one and see which which ones kind of we can tick off. So this one here, it is unsaturated because it's got a benzene ring. Um, it's not allocyclic because it's an aromatic ring. Okay, so allocyclic, something like that, it's a ring, but it can't be aromatic. Okay, so it's not that one. It does have the alkyl group. It's got that methyl group sticking off it, but yeah, that's where it falls down. So it's not A. B is not unsaturated because it's only got carbon, carbon, single bonds. So it's not B. It is allocyclic, like I've just said, and it does have an alkyl group. It's got that methyl group. C now, it is unsaturated. It's got the carbon, carbon, double bond. It is allocyclic. It's a ring, which isn't a benzene ring, and it does have an alkyl group. So that is the answer. Might as well rule out D. So D is unsaturated. It's got a carbon-carbon double bond. It is allocyclic. It has got a ring that's not a benzene ring, but it doesn't have an alkyl group. That's not an alkyl group because these things have to have the formula CnH2n plus 1. And that doesn't have that type of formula. So it's not that one. Okay, so moving on to question eight. So a similar kind of question to before, but just sort of slight variation on it. So how can the molecule be described? So we've got this molecule here. So is it aromatic and allocyclic? Well, it's not aromatic. It doesn't have a benzene ring, so it's not that one. It is aliphatic because there's no benzene ring in this. However, it's not unsaturated because it doesn't have any Benzene rings, it doesn't have any carbon carbon multiple bonds. So it's not that one. We've already ruled out aromatic, okay, so it's not that one. So it's got to be this one. Allocyclic, yes, it's a ring, it's not a benzene ring, so that's allocyclic. And it is saturated. All the carbon carbon bonds are single carbon carbon bonds, so that's the answer. Okay, so question nine now, we've got to decide which one of these four is allocyclic. It's testing your knowledge of representation of benzene rings or aromatic rings, okay? So a benzene ring or aromatic ring either looks like that or with the three alternating carbon-carbon double bonds, okay? 
So you can see that one there has got this representation in. So that's aromatic. Same with that one, that's an aromatic ring. So it's not allocyclic therefore. Um, D has got that version of benzene in, so that's aromatic, it's not allocyclic, so it's that one, okay? That's an allocyclic uh, ring because it's not a benzene ring, so C. And finally, thank goodness, question 10, we've got to name this organic molecule, and there's our options. So the longest continuous chain, go for that first, one, two, three, four, five, six, so it's going to be hex. Um, the carbon-carbon double bond starts on this carbon here, which is carbon 2. Got to go on the shortest number, so it's a 2-ene. So on carbon number 3, therefore, we've got this branch here. That's two carbons long. That's an ethyl branch. So putting it together as a name, we've got 3-ethyl hex-2-ene. So it's option C, that one there. Very well done if you're still with me. Hope that was useful.